Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you. Today, we're going to be taking our first look of some Z87 boards. Now, I have to go very careful with uh, what I say and what I point out and talk about and stuff like that because I am standing very close to the fire as far as NDAs go. Um, I'm not allowed to talk about CPU names and numbers. I'm not even allowed to mention the the actual kind of like the brands and all that kind of stuff. This it's all immensely complicated as it always is with these big releases. Uh, but I've got my hands on quite a few gigabyte boards. So I'm going to start off with a few, and I'll, I will be uploading more next week. You are going to get more, so do check back. But the uh, the one that we're looking at today is the D3 HP. Now, one thing I will say. So I'm going to zoom the camera out a bit for starters. Oh, we are zoomed out. Tonnerous. Now, one thing I will say is uh, Gigabyte's lower end boards previously did end up going blue, but they've gone all black with these now. Now, the D3 HP is going to be like, I would suppose you would call their main focus board. It's not a low end board, as in it's not the, you know, like uh, sub £100 category. It's going to be just over the £100 mark. Uh, Nothing's been 100% confirmed along prices and stuff yet, but this is going to be like the, the main kind of accessible board. You could almost call this the UD3 of like previous ranges and stuff. I mean, the fact that the, the letters are all kind of there and, you know, roughly in the same place kind of says a lot. Uh, but let's, you know, talk about first. Nice, simple styling. We've obviously got uh, black uh, and grey on the, the dim slots. Now the new heat sinks, you're either going to love them or you hate them. I think most of you are going to love them because they are just really simple and plain. It's a massive chunk of alley there. Oh look, you can see me. Hello. But it's just a really smooth looking heat sink. Now I, I personally really like the look of that. The fact that this is all like mirrored and everything as well. There you go, you can see the camera in it. I think is really nice. Mirrored on with the design for the MOSFET heatsink. Now you can see that we've not got a massive amount of phases on this. So it's not going to be like the massive, uh, massive high-end overclocking board or anything like that. This will probably be for people that are looking for either stock clocks, underclocking, or maybe like a partial overclock. Again, I can't say kind of clocks that you may be able to achieve and all that kind of stuff because I have not tested it uh, or rather I'm not allowed to really talk to you about it is what I should say um, although I, I do know what this board's capable of anyway so we've got that we can also see that uh, we've got no uh, power switch or anything on the board and there isn't a power switch anywhere on the board if I put it down you can see it. there's none down the bottom there's none up the sides but following round there is an 8 pin CPU power at the top there's plenty of fans now if I hold it roughly right there we go so we've got a CPU fan there then we've got CPU optional up there system fan 1 system fan 2 there so there's four around the CPU area and then if we look down at the bottom of the board we've got system fan 3 and I'm looking, because obviously this is the first time I've seen it as well, but I'm not seeing an option for a, C for a system fan 4. So we've got uh, five fans in total on the board. We've got two front panel USB 3s, because there's a little cap there, and there's the second one. Something with this is it has got vertical SATA. Um, I'm assuming, because if we put it there, we can see that there's not really a lot of room on the edge of the board, although... Uh, there is a reason for that because if I show you, it's not you know it's not a humongous board. It does go out to 80x uh, there, as in you can see that we've got the extra screw. But if we come down the bottom, screw, no screw, and then up at the top, screw, no screw. So it's not it's not got the kind of real estate of a normal 80x board. Now we've got PCI Express 3 there, and we've got another PCI Express. Now this is 16 times wide, uh, and this is uh, 8 times wired. I'm probably not meant to have mentioned that, to be fair, but it's just the way the board is wired. It's nothing to do with the actual chipset and stuff like that. But, quite strangely, we have got PCIs. 
Again, now I'm thinking that because this is going to be one of the lower end boards, that's why we've got PCIs uh, visible on there. But there are two PCI Express ones, and that's all there. So there we go. And if I put it down, all oh, the other thing that we really need to mention is round the back. Two, four, six PCI, uh, PCI Express. I didn't need to get my words right, don't I? Two, four, six USB threes. We've got gigabit LAN. Uh, we've got uh, HDMI there, DVI, VGA, two normal USBs, um, PS2, which is obviously for keyboard and mouse, and then we've got HD audio here, and that's an optical port. So there's plenty of uh, connections on the back. Kind of thing to point out with the uh, connections on the back, although, like I said, I can't say specifics and stuff, is that we have got onboard video accessible on this. But, there we go. Now I'm moving all over a little bit more time. What I'll do is I'll start at the top, I'll zoom in. So that you can uh, have a good look. I'm moving it too much. So yeah, there we go. And if we scroll down a little bit. Plenty of chances there for you to get, you know, a, a good look in and around the board. One thing I am seeing to start off with is if you were to have your graphics card here, you know, fill in two slots, you may find it quite difficult to remove your uh, BIOS power button, but then uh, that's not really going to be too much of a, a, a massive issue. Down at the bottoms, we've got uh, internal USB there and there. Front panel audio, although I never use these. Com port, TPM port. There we go. We can also see that there is a two um, BIOS chips there, although they're soldered onto the board. They're fixed. But yes, I am going to leave this video here because this was just a quick look. You know, our first look. Obviously, I've had to go careful with like NDAs and all that kind of stuff. But, yes, guys. For now, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, we come right out now. Look, bing, out. <laughs>